Hey guys, Dan Valmont here with Fanatic Wrestling, and today I'm out in Colorado Springs, Colorado with um, former NCAA champion from Oklahoma State, former associate head coach at uh, Oklahoma State, and now um, developmental coach with Team USA. Um, he just started his position, and uh, now he's kind of focusing a little bit more on the freestyle side of things, and today we went over a um, an instructional video where we focused on the Turk position, and I think the Turk is such a huge position, um, especially now for these college guys with the rule changes with the takedown to three points and get the four point backs. Um, but for you younger guys too, <clears throat> and, and folks that were in freestyle, being able to turn your takedown into multiple points, um, either exposures or um, controlling a, your opponent to get your pin. And I don't really think we have too many videos focused on the Turk, so um, I know I learned a lot today. And while you guys are waiting for this video to come out in the near future, um, Zach's going to give us a little bit of preview of what to expect. So, Zach. Yeah, we cover takedowns um, from our feet going into the Turk position. We cover even folk style uh, top position getting into Turk. But, you know, being out here in Colorado Springs and using wrestling and working with development athletes throughout the country and coaching world teams, um, we tend to focus a little bit on, or a lot, on freestyle. Um, so this is a great position um, for you people that want to get into freestyle. And like I said, if you want to be a wintertime champion, you've got to wrestle in the summertime, and in the summertime it's freestyle. Um, so this position, um, it's going to look like a setup to our leg lace, okay? But it's going to lead into, you know, what I'll say is kind of a, you know, a lower level turn, turn, turn position here, okay? We're going far knees, far ankles, okay? So, but I'm here wrestling the parterre position, okay? Parterre position is Dan's laying flat. He's trying to prevent me from exposing his back. Anytime that I expose his back, I get two points. Unlike folk style, folk style is a control position. Freestyle is an exposure more type of sport. Um, so from here, I'm working in the parterre position. Maybe I'm working up here. I'm working for some maybe traditional guts. I'm gonna make a slide down towards his legs here. And now as I make that slide down, I'm going to take both knees to the outside and I'm going to slide my shoulder into his, 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 his butt right here. Okay, keeping weight down. Now Dan, you can tell he's wrestled freestyle because as soon as he feels this position, he pulls that outside leg up. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to shelf this leg up. So from here, I'm going to take here, I'm going to have the ankle, I lift and I shelf him up right here. Okay, I'm keeping his leg wedged in between my hip and my ribs, kind of like right here. This prevents him from kicking out. So now from here, I'm here in this position. As Dan starts to feel this, a real common move is a leg raise from here. Okay? You'll also see guys jump up to gut wrenches from here. But from here, I'm gonna throw a little bit of a, a different type of flare. I'm gonna go ahead and chase, and you've seen this more in folk style. I'm gonna take my far side, let's go ahead and make this turn then. Okay? I'm gonna go ahead and take my right hand, I'm gonna chase at his ankle. My other hand, instead of going to the far knee, it's coming through. Now from here, I'm driving him down to his hip, okay? A lot of times that leg might fall off the top, and now I have an arm that's split in between. Go ahead and make that turn again. I'm here, he's up, go ahead and slide that knee up again. I'm here, catch, I run him over, boom. Now from here, I have that leg split. From here, as I lift, I can take here and go into my arm turk. Okay, this is one position. And you guys can see this kind of like a bottom leg cradle. I can go off and chase cradle, or I reach my hand around here, lift, elevate one of my butt into space of an arm turk. Or what we covered a lot today was leg turk. Again, that leg shelved up, I run them down, boom. I lift, now right here. Step, leg turn. It's coming down here, catching. Now from here, we covered a lot of time on this technique, okay? And how do I make him turn from here, okay? But just briefly, I'm keeping my knee to the back of his knee. I'm sealing off my hips to his hips, and I'm gonna get this knee underneath. I'm gonna work from being perpendicular to him to being parallel. Here, I'm spinning, working on top right here. Okay, so working arm turk and leg turk. And let's go ahead, I'm gonna throw a little bit of a freestyle turn into this one, okay? Dan's in a really good position here. Freestyle here, I'm looking at one of my leg lace, I step out, I load up, boom. He brings it up right here. Bam, I knock him down right here. 
This leg stays here. I'm having trouble, half of it. I'm gonna come under, that underhook, this heel right here. I'm gonna jump two knees behind. Now from here, I elevate that leg and boom. So unlike folk style where I have to hold him here, just by exposing his back like this, I'm awarded two points. And every time I keep exposing him there, I get two points. So I encourage you guys not only to check out the Turk video, uh, but I encourage you guys to get out there and wrestle freestyle. Um, very big in women's movement. Um, wrestle freestyle in college for women. And if you want to reach the highest level in our sport, and that's being an Olympic champ, world champ, it's done in freestyle. So it also gets your folk style better, and you know it's just something that's fun to do. Also, so yeah. <clears throat> and I was gonna say that same exact thing. If you're a little intimidated of freestyle, if you're a young wrestler or freestyle and Greco, I mean, this isn't so much on the Greco side, but um, if it's a little intimidating, it, like Zach said here, it is gonna help your folk style too. Getting better in these positions. Um, mostly for you younger guys in the summertime um, to make you better for the folk style season, learning how to get proper positioning on your Turk. And even though we're talking about exposure here a little bit, there's a ton of stuff we went over in this video that's talking about the control aspect of it too. Um, certain things that you need to do correctly or you can lose your Turk. And then we go through a bunch of troubleshooting options here. If a guy does this, what can I do now? If he does this, what can I do? So a ton of really, really, fairly um, over encompassing view of the Turk position. Um, some really, really good stuff. So while you guys are waiting for that video, make sure you go check out the other 100 videos that Zach has from us already. He's got some really good content out there. Um, for any level of wrestling, specifically if you guys have young kids that are into wrestling, he's got like three or four youth videos out there that um, are very, very good for guys who are just starting out wrestling and he progresses up through to even the highest levels of wrestlers uh, training to win world titles. So, um, make sure you check out his stuff. Make sure you check out all the other stuff we have on our website, fanaticwrestling.com, djjfanatics.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Twitter, Instagram, uh, Facebook. Join our Facebook group. All that good stuff. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you soon.